Gail King has received widespread praise for her composure during her interview with disgraced singer R. Kelly, during which he screamed, paced wildly, beat his chest, and was just generally combative. And on Thursday, she spoke to late night host Stephen Colbert about what was going through her head throughout the 80 minute sit down. Stopping by CBS's The Late Show, King told Colbert, I could see him getting more heated. He was upset with me about some of the questions. That's okay. He was a little irritated, and that's okay. When I see Robert getting really upset and he stands out of his seat, my initial reaction is, oh God, please don't leave, please don't leave, please don't leave. King's decision to remain calm was motivated by her desire to keep probing Kelly, with the CBS anchor saying to Colbert, if we'd both gotten emotional and amped up like that, what good would have come of that? The CBS This Morning sit down marked the first time Kelly has spoken out since Lifetime Surviving R. Kelly premiered in January. The docuseries detailed numerous sexual abuse allegations against him, allegations which Kelly has steadfastly denied. On February 22nd, he was arrested in Chicago and charged with 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse, pleaded not guilty, and was released the following week on bail. He is due back in court March 22nd and could be facing 70 years in prison for his alleged misdeeds. Colbert asked King if at any point during the interview she had feared for her safety, but she assured him that she hadn't, saying, If you could have seen the thought bubble, it would have been, ruh roh please sit back down. You're looking a little crazy right now, please sit back down. She had, however, told O, the Oprah magazine, that she had thought Kelly might accidentally hit her because he was flailing around so much in anger. Later in the interview, Colbert asked King her opinion on whether she thought it was still possible to appreciate the music of both Kelly and Michael Jackson in light of the disturbing allegations against them. King replied, For me, it's hard to separate it now. And I think that, you know, you have to decide for yourself what you want to do, but these are different times. And we are hearing it now with different ears. We are paying attention to it in a way that we haven't paid attention to it before. King was also tasked with interviewing Joyce Ellen Savage and Azrael Clary, who were 21 and 23 respectively, and who, according to their accounts, live with Kelly, who was 52, of their own free will. Both girls' parents have accused the R&B singer of brainwashing their daughters, and King had revealed on Thursday's episode of CBS This Morning that Kelly had been lurking in the back of the room during the interview, despite assurances from his team that he would not be present while King questioned the girls. She said he also tried several times to stop the interview. The expanded interviews with Kelly and Savage and Clary will air on CBS on Friday night at 8pm Eastern. Meanwhile, King said on CBS Evening News that Kelly's camp was pleased with her interview after the first part aired on Wednesday. Said King, they thought it gave Robert a chance to tell his story. To read more on this story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.